Day now on a case that we've been covering for years, the Gilgo Beach serial murders. As the prime suspect is charged with two more killings, numerous chilling details in the investigation have now emerged. CBS's Natalie Dudridge is here now with much more. Natalie. Well, Cindy and Chris, uh, just horrific details coming out about this, and uh, authorities hope that family members will have some more answers. These new charges expanding both the timeline and the area of the Gilgo Beach homicide case. Investigators say they used new DNA technology to link the murders to Rex Hureman and found even more disturbing evidence in his home. In court, 60-year-old Rex Hureman, an architect and father, was silent with a blank stare as he was read charges for two additional murders of Sandra Castilla, who lived in Queens, whose remains were found in 1993, and Jessica Taylor from Poughkeepsie, killed in 2003. Taylor's family breaking their silence. Jess was somebody that I looked up to. She was a force, one of the strongest women that I know, with a heart of gold. Last month, investigators searched Hewerman's home again, turning up what authorities call a murder manifesto with a sickening checklist. Remove head and hands, remove marks from torture, and use heavy rope for neck. And to get sleep before hunt because too tired creates problems. We have an individual uh, who we are alleging, you know, meticulously planned and executed um, six uh, separate murders. The murder trail now expanded 40 miles from Gilgo Beach. Taylor's body was found in Manorville, Castilla in North Sea. The timeline also expanded, dating back 30 years. New technology provided prosecutors a breakthrough, DNA linking hairs on both women's bodies to Hureman. Hair is often found in crime scenes because people lose hair all the time. Forensic and DNA expert Dr. Lawrence Kobolinski says DNA was crucial to cracking this case. DNA is really the gold standard of physical evidence, and that can be used to match a known and an unknown, meaning a body and hair found on that body with uh, the source of that hair. And that is important in solving a case, especially like this one, which is a cold case for many, many years. And Hureman has pleaded not guilty to all murder charges. He was remanded without bail and is back in court July 30th, Chris and Cindy. And now he's also mm -hmm. a husband and father. I know his wife. We've seen kind of in and out uh, of mm -hmm. court these past few months. What is the family saying? Did they respond to these new charges at all yesterday? There was a statement yesterday. And first, I just want to mention that authorities say <clears throat> that the wife and children were out of state, that they were away mm -hmm. uh, when these murders happened. Uh, she has attended some of these hearings. She was not at yesterday's hearing, but she did say in a statement that this first murder charge that happened in 1993 was before they were married. They got mm -hmm. married in 1996, and she has continued to say that she doesn't believe that he is capable of committing these crimes. All right, we'll see as we continue wow. to find more and more information about this. But yeah, the details from yesterday, just if you, if you couldn't get any more bizarre, more chilling, then this, this added to it. Natalie, thank you very much.